Okay, we're gonna review camera mounts for the Polaris slingshot. This is probably your most versatile uh, video mounting point right on the support and this is a magic arm and uh, it comes in you got to order it uh, separately the clamp and then this is the magic arm and this is a GoPro base plate so all three of these have to be ordered but it allows you to move the camera if you loosen this up just a little bit if your passenger wants they can move it and follow someone from the side or you can go on around and get those nice selfies just keep on going and you can get this side and then back around to the front okay uh, the next place that we have a mount is this is a car type uh, dash cam that mounts to the windshield I have it uh, with tie wraps at this location which gives you a great forward view uh, for fantastic uh, videos of your trip moving on around we have a, a mount here that you have to be careful of of uh, a suction cup and you have to really make sure the place is clean and push down and lock it in place the advantage of this is that this mount is very versatile and this place right here is perfect for being able to get your instruments uh, your shifting the whole cockpit in uh, the driver's compartment so that's uh, worthy of a mention another place is right here this is another excellent place to mount uh, your GoPro and notice I have it up as high as I can go this gets narrower as you go up but this is as far up as it'll go in this channel reason being uh, you want to clear the windshield with your view so your camera will mount up just where it shoots over and you get a nice front end view for facing forward you get both um, passenger and driver and if you tilt down you can see the shifting your instruments everything now moving around over on the other side is another mount of a dash cam uh, that has the original mount that mounts on the windshield i have it mounted on the rear view mirror and you can get excellent shots of the um, driver and passenger compartments and that great selfie uh, that uh, would show off real well so we have one other magic arm mount uh, right here is another interesting view as it gives you a view right across the uh, front fender and out and you catch a little of the tire there which makes for some interesting video uh, this can be moved all around but one of the things you want to take in uh, as a point when you're mounting a magic arm is get the camera mount base as close to this as you can get you don't want it out as far as you can go or you're gonna your video is gonna move around so keep that in mind so you can play around with these different mounts and uh, you may get some interesting video now notice I don't have anything pointed back but this uh, can be switched around and placed on the back side pointing back that way 
so that's another option okay I, I have one more little place that's very interesting and I'm going to show it now and that's mounting your magic arm uh, to the roll bar and you need to always mount it right at the corners on e any of the corners the reason being if you'll get a solid mount there this tapers as it goes up and you will find it will not stay steady so that is one transition point where you can get a good solid mount you can mount this over here and face out toward the center that side whichever gives you the best look you want to do you can point it back or you can move this back around and adjust it to forward you mount it on the um, swing arm pivot and it fits right in there and you can tighten her down good and adjust it to where you see the wheel and whoever's behind you and uh, strobe effect as you drive different speeds you'll find that the spokes will uh, completely stop and freeze so it'll give an interesting view uh, with the folks behind you so there you go you have a lot of different options here and uh, you should go out and experiment and you may find some different uh, places to mount uh, your cameras so try it out